Hello Aquarius, so this is going to be your reading for the next three months. I want to take a sneak peek at May, June, July for you guys. So we're going to do individual spreads for each month. So let's go ahead and begin with the month of May, Aquarius. Alright, so it kind of looks as though there's a new beginning in love. You guys also could come to find out like someone was being shady with you guys. You guys could be leaving something. It could relate to work. You guys could be leaving your job, moving on. You guys are also possibly finding new love here. You guys might also be stuck between two lovers and you're kind of trapped in your head not knowing what to do. You guys are really worried, maybe anxious. Maybe you guys can't sleep around this time or you guys are having trouble sleeping. You guys also need to be conscious of maybe the thoughts that are going through your head. Perhaps you guys are thinking very negatively in regards to a relationship or a friendship is what I'm seeing. You guys might have a lot on your plate regarding love or romance, or you guys could also, for you singles, you guys are gonna have a lot of dating options, kind of similar to Gemini, where you guys have too many to choose from, or it's like you don't know which one to pick almost, or like you guys could be busy dating a lot of people, getting to know a lot of people. Um, I feel like either there's some form of heartbreak here for some of you guys that kind of comes in quick, or someone gets ghosted all of a sudden. This could be you ghosting someone. Or this could be someone ghosting you is what I'm seeing. I'm seeing you guys no longer put energy or effort into something. I feel like it's a romantic relationship. Um, there's also quick stability for you. Or like financially it kind of looks as though things are going to be turning around for you guys for the better. And these changes might occur fast. As I mentioned, things are going to be turning around for you guys for the better in terms of finances. You do have the Ten of Pentacles here. Kind of looks as though you guys are pretty clear-headed in regards to finances this month or how to grow your finances in the month of June. Um, also, there could be like an offer or a relationship here possibly or like someone asks you out. There's also someone spying on your guys' social media or like maybe you guys have a lot of money that you guys are shopping a lot. Some people are like really paying attention to that and they're kind of envious is what I'm seeing. Some of you guys could also possibly be planning to get a new vehicle around this time or going shopping or you guys are thinking about the future. You guys could be planning a trip somewhere, somewhere abroad, somewhere at a long distance. Um, I feel like this might potentially be like a family trip if you guys plan on doing a family trip. Or if you guys do plan to travel, it kind of looks as though like it's kind of pleasurable or it's like a really good experience for you guys. Some of you guys could have some form of adverse experience either with government or legal institutions here. You guys might possibly be having to pay some form of legal fees or some form of like tickets or something like that in this month. Also, again, it kind of looks as though you guys have the right mindset in terms of finances or how to manage your finances is what I'm seeing. And lastly, you guys could be having some form of breakthrough in regards to your career around this time. Maybe that's why your finances begin to increase, but that is what I'm seeing. I'm also seeing you guys like also shop, but then you guys are also saving at the same time, which is good. Um, for those of you guys who have joint finances, you could come to find out like someone's being stingy or like hiding money or something like that. Or that's exactly what's happening, but perhaps you don't know. Okay, so we're going to move on to the month of July. Alright, so it kind of looks as though there's an ex that isn't over you. Or you aren't over an ex. It could be like this person comes back into the picture. They're still attached to you. They can't let go. There is some form of regret around this whole situation, but I feel like you're sick and tired of them. You're kind of ready for change is what I'm seeing in the month of July. Um, there's a lot of confidence that you guys are exuding in the month of July. You guys, again, are very good in terms of finances. You guys are also, if you guys have children, you guys could potentially be coming off like very motherly, very nurturing in this month. Um, you guys might possibly also be thinking negatively regarding the whole situation. Or it could be like you guys are just feeling exhausted by something is what I'm seeing. There could be some form of tension between you and other people. It could be with a Taurus here. You guys could possibly be having some form of conflict. There is some form of positive news that comes in. So maybe you guys, if you guys were expecting news regarding something, kind of looks like a yes or like you're, you're getting what you desire to what you want, okay? I feel like you guys might also possibly be taking a break from a player. Um, you guys could also, or this could be someone around you, but like I feel like there's a group of friends, but then there's one of the friends that is excluded or something like that. 
or maybe someone is concerned about a friend that doesn't want to hang out with him like maybe something is wrong with him but that's essentially what I'm getting in um if you guys have been working really hard towards something where you guys just feel exhausted there's going to be good fortune coming to you in regards to that or like it's going to be paying off okay so that's essentially what i have for you aquarius so i hope you guys like these readings if you guys did if you guys feel like it resonated please like share and subscribe and i'll catch you guys next time bye